Hi, it's Jan Beta, and I'm back here with my uh, newly acquired ZX Spectrum 48K, as um, the ones in the know can uh, see by the uh, RAM chips on here. And what I'm going to do is to make the little composite mod to this that yeah, it's been all over the web and most probably you've heard of this, but I wanted to show it anyway. Maybe I'll encounter some more problems. So what we have here is the RF modulator and normally it comes with a little cap on it that I already removed and it just lifts off with some patience and some force. You could also use a flat screwdriver or something to poke it out. It's just stuck on there and yeah, you can just lift it off. So that's what I did. And yeah, let me zoom in a bit. So basically what we have here is the RF modulator. And there's one line that goes in there that is the power line that um, supports the stuff going on in here. And one, this one here, is the video line. So what we, are, what we want to do is to use this RCA jack that was um, for the antenna cable originally, but it's a standard size um, RCA jack, which it was, yeah, it was quite normal back in the day. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut the, the power and basically uh, solder this to the middle pin on this, which is the signal pin. And the ground is already connected to the shielding, which is connected to the ground. So yeah, that's basically it. And I think I'm gonna try to do it in a way that um, maybe it is reversible. So I'm gonna cut the leads and bend them away rather than uh, throw them away. Now well, let's see. I'm just, I'm just, I'm a big fan to of uh, leaving things in the state they were originally intended to be in, but yeah, RF modulators are a bit outdated maybe. So I think, okay, let's cut this one. This is the, the power one. So I'm bending it over here simply to not make contact there. And I think I'm gonna cut this mm, something like near to the shielding here. So here's the whole um, RF modulator and our signal comes from this wire here. And what I'm gonna do is to solder on the wire and um, go through this window or this hole here, which already is there for, I don't know. and. I'm gonna desolder the little um, resistor that is on the middle pin and solder the wire onto that. Yeah, and that's basically a very simple composite mod for the ZX Spectrum. So let's see if I can handle this with uh, the camera totally being in the way. So yeah, but it's it's easy, so I hope to get it done anyway. So. So, gonna desolder hopefully stuff that's on here. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna bend it away. Okay, so I have some wire here, which I'm gonna strip and put some solder on there, I guess. And then I'm gonna fit it through this little hole here, hopefully. I'm gonna fit it through the hole. Could also um, poke in there with something to make it a bit wider. Yeah, there we go. It's probably good enough. I'm gonna bend it a bit. So, and then I'm gonna solder it to the middle pin there. So 
nice blob of solder. <laughs> it was a bit over the top, but yeah, it'll do. So and I'm going to bend everything out of the way there. And then yeah, what I'm going to do is to make a proper connection to this pin here, I guess. So I'm going to desolder the old um, wire sticking out there. Okay, I managed to do this. Um, I stuck the wire through the hole there and soldered it from the other side. And this side is soldered to the middle pin of the RCA jack there. So this should give us um, a composite out on this RCA jack. So let's check if it worked. Okay, and of course you can um, put this back on if you want to, just to make it look more, uh, yeah, more original. <laughs> so I like, yeah, I like how this looks. This turned out quite nicely, I guess. So let's connect some power. And I get all the wires out of the way, so. Nothing accidentally um, shorts this thing. So we don't need the preliminary mod. We can just go with one of the RCA connectors directly in here. In theory, of course, that is. So let's uh, see if my bench power supply. I have to get a, a proper power supply for this at some point. So, okay, I'm turning it on. And there we go. Quite a nice clean picture. Yeah. So this was a very quick and quite easy composite mod for the ZX Spectrum that should work on, uh, I think it should work on all versions of this that have the little RF modulator case that you saw. Yeah, it's the same for most of the older versions of the ZX. I don't know of the um, Amstrad versions. They had RGB out anyway, I think. So, yeah, it's basically no use for a composite output mod there. So, but the old ones, the 16K and the 48K, which this one is, um, you can easily mod in this way. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to support me, there are links all over the place. If you want to contact me, there are links all over the place, the usual social networks. I'm happy to communicate. Leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, and I hope to see you again on this channel. I'm Jan Beta. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.